body. Today I'll be doing a short video. I'll showing my subscribers my 18650 charging station. What I did, well, it's a charging and welding station. The way I organized it. Although I do not have much 18650 batteries, but hoping that I will get lucky one day. I'm in the Caribbean. Today it's um, rainy. We expecting a tropical depression presently. So outside is all wet. With all that said, before I begin, if you're new to this channel, please like, comment, subscribe, click on the bell icon to be notified of further videos. Everything I show in the video, I'll put a link in the description below. This is my charging station. That's the only set of 18650s I do have. And there are some chargers up there. Let me go through. I showed on the previous video, I had a switching power supply. It's a 12 volts, 5 amps. I put it behind that unit and a 5 volt switching power supply also. So there are two of them in here. This panel controls this, this, charging the phones, this S4. B6 and these two up here that's displays from power banks let me walk through what I did and also before I forget this is my backup unit while charging if they do take current this will kick in that's a computer case. I put the unit in here, the board, in the computer case, and have two gel batteries at the bottom, which is 24 volts. It has a main breaker at the back. In the original case, it didn't have a fan. So I put everything in here with a fan this is it and I have a light underneath here and this is it I have a buck um, regulator there taking it from 24 volts to 12 volts this is the the display right here that's the you cannot see it good that's the voltage the amperage and the hoods I have a fan here to control or should I say to cool down these MOSFETs and I have another fan here on the heat sink I have a thermostat when it gets hot these two fans come on one cools down the border the other one cools down the MOSFETs I put that 220 outlet at the back 
so I would get my uh, voltage coming out. This is an HP case. I used to do this setup. The power for the unit is here. That's the main breaker. That controls my bench top, locally made bench top. Power supply, or should I say lab power supply. This here is for the 12 volts. When the light on the total switch is on that means it has power when this green light comes on that means the 12 volt unit is working this controls that's here if you notice it's off it's on this one controls this here that's also 12 volts i have a cooling fan right here to cool this down if it get too hot i put a thermostat in here that's the 5 volts actually it's putting out 6 something I it has a port I pick it up because when you charge in and you have certain things connect the voltage tend to drop so this switch controls this here if you notice the meter and I have them in banks of three the other switch controls this this is when I do get batteries which is low I will put them on that first and once it pick up some charge I'll put it down here the IMAX, I have a fan below it with a thermostat inside of it. So if this bank is populated and it gets hot, the fan comes on to cool it out. I have this unit here to balance the batteries. This is a gauge. If the battery is low and I put it in the IMAX, as you see, I put one battery in and this would give me the voltage if the battery has any voltage and that. The IMAX and this don't blend, they're off a bit. If the battery, if you put the battery in and it's low, it will not read. These are some of the charges I do have. I haven't opened this yet. 
which I'll be doing a review on it. I've got two of them. This is my exhaust fan for when I'm welding. These are some more 18650 chargers. I do have up here. These are my phone holders when I do in a phone repair. So this is it. Oh, I almost forgot. I put this fan here. So if the unit gets too hot, it would cool it. The switching power supply and the six volt, five volt power supply. This blows directly on, on them. Everything is controlled right here. Since I have two power supplies in this back panel, I do not have a thermostat on them. I'll be controlling it manually because everything else has fans. This is my charging station. If you find this video as helpful, please like, comment, subscribe, and you're free to share to your friends. This is my charging station. Goodbye until the next one.